Let's start with the developments. Take a look at the latest numbers from Johns Hopkins University. More than 38.1 million diagnosed cases of COVID-19 worldwide. Well, over a million deaths globally. And now here in this country, we have at least 7.8 million confirmed cases. All right, and Jen, yes, let's talk about vaccines because uh, this headline this mm -hmm. morning, very concerning. Two companies now pausing their clinical trials due to safety concerns. So what do we need to know? Well, let's take a look behind the headlines here, Amy, because there's a lot that we need to discuss. First of all, Johnson & Johnson, one of the vaccine leaders both in the world and the U.S., has put their clinical trials on pause due to an unexplained illness. This means they're not giving any more dosing and they may not be recruiting right now um, they said they it is unknown at this point if this unexplained illness affected the placebo group or the vaccine group because these are blinded to the vaccine developers and then Eli Lilly another drug maker stopped testing the drug active 3 this is a monoclonal antibody similar to what President Trump Trump got they are testing this drug in combination with remdesivir also putting that on pause due to safety concerns. And just about a month ago, we heard AstraZeneca temporarily halted their phase three clinical trials in the US and in other countries also due to an unexplained illness. So a lot going on on this front. But Doc, if folks hear that, it paused. The work is a continuing. That means a delay. Is that fair to say or to interpret that as Edmonds? Uh, we might be a little behind on our vaccines. I, I would encourage people really, instead of focusing on the timeline, see this as reassuring. This is the scientific process at work. This is what should be happening. Mm. Safety is paramount. And anytime you're enrolling 30 to 60,000 volunteers, these types of things could possibly happen. And again, I think it should underscore it's not just do these things work. It's are they safe? Are they safe? And the last time a vaccine was safely and effectively developed, four and a half years, it took correct? Over four years, yep. All right, Doc, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.